Good morning, Modern Statters. Good morning. It's a nice, brisk, chilly day. It feels like winter. But it's supposed to be in the 40s today, and then in the 50s in a couple of days. So I think we're going to be into mud season from here on out. Be looking forward to the warm temperatures. Maybe yes. not so much the mud, but no. that comes with it. It does. It's part of the process of getting into springtime. Well, our windows finally showed up. They're, what, a few days early? A few days early. Well, they're a few months late, but a few days early. So our, <laughs> lauder, our window order got lost. And then they told us we were going to get them. And we got them a couple of days early from the second order date, I guess you'd call it. So they are so excited to put them in. <laughs> it's going to look so different in there. It's going to brighten it up so much. I mean, just putting, that, putting one window in the other day, that just like brightened. I can't imagine that room is going right. to be incredible. We got six windows for one room. That's the most windows we have in one room, so. Oh my goodness, you're full of shavings. Did you roll on the shavings or what before you came out, Hope? You heard us outside talking, didn't you? And she said, I'm gonna roll around that fresh shavings they gave me. Come on in, ladies. Where are the rest of you? Afraid of that chicken blossom? I better not forget the windows. That would not be good. They come all the way back here to get them. feeling let me turn the heat down the weatherman lied i don't think it's gonna be as nice out as what they're calling for today there is no sun out and it is still 19 degrees outside so i don't think it's gonna be very warm today got some tracks on the creek just kind of curious to see what's been walking across couldn't tell. All right, I'll meet you up at the house. All right, before we cut any holes in the wall, let's measure, make sure our rough opening is correct, and then I will go ahead and I'll pre-cut a bunch of the shims I like to use so we can have an angle. So if we do get any water in it, sheds itself out. We'll get that all made and a bunch of other things. I like to batch cut everything, get everything ready to go. So once we're cutting holes and getting the windows installed, we can just kind of start slamming them out. But we should make sure the window opening is correct because yeah, that wouldn't be fun. Yeah, 
36 by 48. Every time we do a window, it's always been one of my fears is either the window hole opening won't be the right size or the windows are just completely a wrong size. It's been taking us forever to get windows. These ones got lost and we had to wait an extra month or two to get them. So if any of them were wrong, <laughs> it would not be fun. All right, so right here. Yes, so a 35 and a half, we need a half inch. So that's 36. Seven and a half. So our rough openings are correct. So that's good. Now we can start getting everything else ready since we know our windows are going to fit. I think we better take down some of these icicles. One of them is today. But both me and Gina want to get these windows installed, so the weather's not going to stop us. We are just both really excited to get these windows in, so we are going, doesn't matter what the weather is, well, it, it does, but. This little bit of chilly, snowy weather is not gonna stop us. I would have thought those holes were gonna be a little bit higher, so this is gonna be a really big change.
the wind. That wind is fierce. Not as bad as the other day. I like stand on side. Same. Says the person standing inside. <laughs> it's not that windy. Oh, I saw a splash off your hat. That's why I got my hood on. So I don't have down my neck. That's not why I have my hood on, but we'll just say it is. I'm just cold. It's worth getting dripped on for this. It's gonna be so nice having all these windows in. This window's done. Time for the next one. What do you think? I like it. It's something to warm up for a minute. <laughs> the next morning and it's gonna be interesting to see if there's any snow on the roof that we're gonna be working under today to finish putting in the windows it stayed above freezing it's 34 degrees out there's some tracks on the creek I'm not sure what they are not a lot but a few in a couple of spots of the road 
gravel showing through. So it's gonna be interesting to see how muddy the road gets. So the road is really good in the summertime, spring and fall. I shouldn't say that. In the winter time, fall and summer. The spring time, like around now, when the frost is coming out of the ground, it's gonna be interesting to see how it is and what areas we need to fix up. So up here in the north in our climate, the, when it's cold out and the more you drive on a road, the more frost you pound into the ground and the deeper it goes. So as that frost comes out of the ground is when it really starts to get muddy. And with us having logging trucks going back and forth, back and forth. We got some wild turkeys up there, we do. I don't know if you can see them, but right there we have two turkeys. So as the trucks travel across, they just pound the frost into the ground. So in the springtime when the frost comes out, it just can get really muddy. So we just need to keep an eye on the road, the bad, bad spots, fix them up. Sorry, I'm watching the turkeys. Two right there. One's a tom, or at least a jake. It's got a small beard, and I think the one in the back is the hen. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think spring turkey season's coming up. So we're just trying to keep an eye on the road. We're gonna have to fix it up as it goes. And over the years, it'll get better. And this year is gonna be one of the worst years because we had so much logging traffic on it in the winter time. Oh, you know what? I didn't even look to see if we had snow on the roof. The turkeys had me distracted and I was thinking about turkey dinners, mashed potatoes, gravy, you know, all that good stuff. So I guess we better get out and see if there's any snow. I am hoping it all melted off because I don't want snow falling on my head today. And I don't think Gina does either. I think, oh, look at that. That's beautiful. No snow, no icicles, no nothing. We're gonna be in good shape today. It all came off overnight. So we got two of the windows in. I know, you guys saw that in the video. <laughs> so we got four to do. We're hoping to get all four in today. I think we should be in good shape. The first day you always gotta get set up, get everything figured out and go from there. I can't wait to see what it looks like with all the windows in on a sunny day. <laughs> so nice. All oh, that sun feels so nice. It's been a pretty not sunny winter this winter. I know we've been having a lot of people lately asking about seeing more of the animals in the videos. Right now it's still winter, so they're spending a lot of their time hibernating still. And we are in a mad dash to get this place ready so come as soon as we can we can move up here and get the animals up here and then once everybody's up here we'll be able to show a lot more so it's just the phase of the project that we're at right now that's keeping us busy and our weather so hopefully soon that will change just blows my mind with how stretchy this stuff is. Look at that, that's just unbelievable.
All right, just about ready for that window. That sun feels amazing. Wonder how much solar we're making right now. It's still early in the morning, so the sun's not up that high. And we're already making 4.6 kilowatts. And the sun's not even above the trees yet. I think we're good. gotta do that's good all right that one's done
Does it hurt my feelings to be done with that? That's messy. on the top side. Good. This looks so good. It's just like I thought, made it even better. Love it. Let us know what you think about these windows in the sunroom greenhouse area. It's gonna be my favorite place in the house. Not even enough. Really? Bah, bah, bah. Yep. Uh -huh. Bummer. Uh, what a difference. Love it. Feel so much taller in here, the ceilings.